catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 15 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Come rain, come sunshine, switch my heart and do you will find. Come rain, come sunshine Switch my heart and do you, you will find There's love for you All I got is love for you Oh yeah Call me John I have a friend, a good friend He's a lawyer mm. And a pastor So when he was studying to be admitted to the bar exam To the bar rather <laughs> What am I saying? <laughs> Uh, he was at Zamba, Zambia Institute of Advanced Legal Education, or what they call Ziali. He was at Ziali, studying to be a, an advocate. So one time he went to the bathroom, <laughs> and you know, he's a pastor. So he went to the bathroom and found these two guys chatting. And one of them cracked a really bad joke. <laughs> and so the other asked the one who cracked the joke, ah, <laughs> and then he was like, hey, Tulalanda. But I asked to come back to work at church. Oh wow! And this reminds me of a conversation I had with uh, someone also, a family member, and uh, we were having some conversation about something she did. So I asked, "Nare ma kwetu work church? Oh wow, we should work church." So you know, I was wondering why people find it. So easy to deny the Lord Jesus or their Lord. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, but there's something about Vaku Church. Anyway, yeah. That's not the topic of discussion today. Yeah, I guess maybe it's uh, the it's what comes with the name Vaku Church yeah. and what it means for some people. Yes. Even though they proudly call Chuck Norris their Lord. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> All right, so today we're doing a rebuttal on Chuck Norris and how he is not God. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification. This is a tongue twist, I tell you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell and share. The show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays are for political discussions. Wednesdays are for rebuttals like today. And Fridays are for Bible talks. We just did a Bible talk this past Friday on uh, what happens to people after they die. I don't know if you're interested in that particular subject of uh, what happens to people when they die. I actually watched it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you actually watched it? Yeah, I did. Oh, what was the most interesting part for you? Ah, well, you know, I was watching it while in the office. So yeah. it was like background playing because I also wanted my workmate to listen to it. So time, time, I'll walk out and whatnot, but I, I let yeah. it play. So I need to sit down and watch it nicely. Okay, so I'm in Su... I mean, <laughs> I'm in Su- ah. I'm in studio with Su- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm in studio with Swilanji today. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm a blessed young man. Mm. Yeah. How has work, home, everything been? Oh, everything's been okay. Ah, being a being a, a wife, a mom, it's tiresome. It is, eh? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think about Chuck Norris? He's a normal guy, but um, I wonder why of all people... It overglorified? Was yes. Apparently Chuck Norris can do anything. I don't think he can. So I wonder where all this comes from. Oh, by the way, we're discussing Chuck Norris. Do you guys know him? <laughs> Have you seen the www? <laughs> .chucknorris.com <laughs> uh, We have a lot of questions for Mr. Norris, so we'll be using the website to uh, contact him much later on the show. All right, Carlos Ring Norris, a.k.a. Chuck Norris, was born in 1940. He got the name Chuck when he joined the U.S. Air Force at the age of 18. The full nickname was Ground Chuck. Now, I don't know why he was called Ground Chuck, but I learned only today that his name is not uh, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Carlos, is he from our Spanish uh, companions or other friends areas? It sounds, it sounds Espanol, kind of, you know. Yeah. Did I just see you yawning? 
I did. I did. I'm it's hungry. That stuff you were, t- you were taking. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Chuck Norris is actually Mr. Carlos. He doesn't look like it, but he's a Carlos. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Now, people have been cracking jokes. If you're not aware, people have been cracking jokes about Chuck Norris for a long time now that are bordering. They are on the fence of blasphemy. They are comparing Chuck Norris to the Lord. Could the name Chuck Norris had come from... uh, Have you you watched uh, Court of Chucky? No, but I've seen... Is it Seed of Chucky? I think there's one same. Chucky movie I've watched. Well, but, um, I think there are many Chucky movies. It's like Harry Potter. Same, there's Harry Potter and this, Harry Potter and that. Same it's creepy it's, cartoon. Or yeah. Same creepy Creepy doll. movie. Yeah. And it's funny how that cartoon didn't die. Maybe it came from there. Or maybe it came from Chuck, like the Chuck T-Bone. Ah, um, yeah. I hear he eats a lot of meat. Ah, Mm, apparently (laughs) so we are doing a rebuttal just to tell you that chuck norris is not god and so we'll give you examples of some of the jokes that have been circulating about this not so young man all right here's the first one chuck norris has only ever faced one worthy opponent himself when he looked in the mirror (laughs) I didn't see that coming. I thought you said Bruce Lee or something. I know. Apparently, when Bruce Lee and Chuck, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan have a fight, Chuck Norris would win. Over Bruce Lee. Yeah, no, no, no. If Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan had a fight, Chuck Norris would win. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, if Chuck Norris had another Chuck Norris in an, an, an in an alternate universe, and they fought, they would both win. This is the blasphemous <laughs> praises they are rendering oh, wow. on this mortal man. Well, is it really true that Chuck Norris has never faced a worthy opponent? I think he just didn't have the opportunity to face one African man that ate kids, women, and men, and men alike. He had them for dinner. And on top of that, had a peaceful death. Huh. Here's this man giving a warning right before he had a meal. Also, to drink and uh, over drunk, it is not very good. You will not even enjoy more <laughs> because you will, you will not even have sense. But if you drink very little, you feel very happy, very proud, and you talk to your people, that will be, I'm just advising you. <laughs> <laughs> The guy at the end looks scared. I know. Have you noticed how no one (laughs) is laughing? Like, there's barely anyone laughing. I bet they added laughing effects to that video. Imagine. Like, (laughs) Like everyone is stone cold. They're serious. Uh, He's trying to be too careful. I know. And the man is so freely warning the people that are afraid of him. You know, this is the funny thing about dictators. Mm. Do they not know that people fear them? That people tremble before them? I wonder. Isn't this the guy who who ate his uh, his wife's butt and blessed the meal before he ate it? Yeah. Huh. Supposedly. Anyway, so Idi Amin was just never uh, confronted by one Chuck Norris. That's why they think that he's only faced one worthy opponent. Do you know Idi Amin? <laughs> what I've heard about him. I know. After wreaking <laughs> havoc on the people of Uganda, he died peacefully. Like the man actually died a peaceful death. How dare you? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, hmm. here's another joke. <laughs> Chuck Norris can unscramble eggs. Guys, really? Fried or unfried? That's a good question. We'll use www.chucknorris.com to find out. Uh, I don't know. Does that sound practical to you? That Chuck Norris can unscramble eggs? Because <laughs> hmm. you know there's a difference when you scramble eggs with um, using a spoon. Yeah. And when you scramble them with a fork. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you scramble them with a fork, they, they mix perfectly. But if you scramble them with, let's say... I scramble eggs with a cooking stick. Ah, cooking stick, spoon, I think that's quite the same. I think the fact that a fork has gaps, yeah. when you scramble it, it even starts to make um, foam. Mm. I puked a little in my mouth. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Foaming eggs? Mm. What? You know, eggs are so, are so delicate. Like, it's not easy to eat an egg fried by someone else. I would rather fry my own eggs because eggs are just... I love eggs. I can eat them. They are very now. personal foods. Except raw. I can I can eat an egg that's fried with a with a running yolk. 
I can eat an mm. egg, but I once went for dinner somewhere. You know, some years back, I went with a friend of mine <laughs> to visit a family. And you embarrassed uh, yourself. <laughs> we we <laughs> went to we went to pray for a lady, mm. a friend of mine, and I a few years ago. So we went to their home and they welcomed us and they said, Oh, blessed are those that come in the name of the Lord. So they gave us a meal. Mm. Now, one of the women or one of the ladies there was a chef at some school apparently. And so she pre- prepared some bread and eggs and some tea and gave it to us. And we all sat at the dining table with the family. And the moment I lifted up the sandwich, the yolk just ran. <sighs> that is not my favorite kind of eggs. I just don't like that. I really went through a lot <laughs> to finish so that I meal. So I assume you ate. Yeah, uh, I did. Okay. Yeah, my friend too. Hmm. Yeah, horrible experience. Guys, if I come to your home, offer me water. If you're going <laughs> to make eggs like that. <laughs> yeah, offer me water. I will not accept this time. All right, here's another joke. There was once a street called Chuck Norris, but they had to change its name because no one crosses Chuck Norris and leaves. Hmm. <laughs> ah, who do you think Chuck Norris is? The Lord? <laughs> a little too far. <laughs> yeah, that went a little too far. Now, listen, Chuck Norris describe himself. I heard another rumor that you were bitten by a king cobra. Yeah, I was. But after five days of agonizing pain, the cobra died. <laughs> After five days of agonizing pain, the cobra died. That was a good one. The cobra know him, eh? <laughs> From you the know, horse's mouth. <laughs> I actually expected the voices to be the opposite. Him yeah. to have um, Sylvester Stallone's voice. Yeah. Oh, the the, the the videos the video has altered voices. Ah, okay. Um, copyright issues. Okay. Yeah. So the voices are <laughs> a little bit skewed. They have used a pitch bend. Do you do you play instruments? Drums, but not often. Ah, okay. There's, uh, there's something we call a pitch bend. On I think one of the sound cards there has a pitch oh, really? bend. So you can make me sound like a man? Yeah. Ah, we should try that. Make us sound like a man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Chuck Norris uh, <laughs> was bitten by a cobra. And after five days of agonizing pain... A cobra died. Here's another one. Chuck Norris can sneeze with his eyes open. Guys, not even Bruce Lee could do this one. I seriously want to try <laughs> this. Hatcha! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can actually just throw some black pepper in the air and see. Yeah, let's try. Do people who do cocaine sneeze? How would I know that? Oh, uh, the You want Dick to follow me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know Suilanji does not do cocaine, at least not here. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> By the way, if you're not subscribed, hit that bell and subscribe. Did I say it in the right order? Subscribe, hit the bell, and share. And leave your comments. Tell us your favorite Chuck Norris joke. Here's another one. Chuck Norris built the hospital he was born in. Uh, I think I don't even want to comment much on this one. Uh, it implies a lot. <laughs> Who do you think Chuck Norris is? <laughs> you know, this has reminded me of a video. I don't know if I can find it again. This woman was giving birth, and uh, you know, the doctor is ready to receive the baby, and the, the baby, like, you know. So the doctor gets scared ah. and then the baby comes out from where the mother is. Mm. So when the baby sits up, everyone is shocked. The doctor faints. Then he starts pressing the phone. He asks for a scissors. Yeah. Cuts his own umbilical cord. You know, there's like all that drama. And when you mentioned that, I just thought of Chuck Norris. You thought of Chuck that. Norris. Eh? If yeah. that was a Zambian baby, they would call him Mwape Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Not Mwansa. Mwansa Norris. Apparently Mwa. Eh, you know, why do they add these... Um, Spiritual surnames to the name ones. <laughs> like, you know, it's only in Bemba that the devil has <laughs> a surname. <laughs> Mwansa Kavinga. <laughs> Mwansa. Might as well call him Chuck Kavinga. Anyway, <laughs> here's another joke. Uh, this one goes a little too far. Chuck Norris does not sleep. He waits. He never sleeps. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 oh 
Okay, no. Oh, this wow. feels so wrong. I shouldn't have laughed. Uh, I think we need to end <laughs> this show now. It's such, okay, no, that's wow. too far. It has gone too far. These Chuck Norris jokes. Okay, wow. so these people want to go to hell and they want to drag us with them. And Mr. Norris. So Chuck Norris, <laughs> apparently when he does push-ups, he doesn't push up. He pushes the earth down. Ah. Yeah. All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share. The show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays are for political discussions, Wednesdays are for rebuttals like today, and Fridays are for Bible Talks. Now, let me address a few things uh, concerning Bible Talks. Firstly, when I give you a Bible Talks or a rebuttal that involves biblical subjects, uh, this is purely my standpoint, okay? It's purely my standpoint, and... It's not conclusive of what I believe or know about the subject. I'll try to give you a more comprehensive and more detailed um, uh, presentation in the upcoming Bible Talks, just so you can have my full thought on the subject. But I hear a lot of ridiculous questions that people ask me on um, on our Facebook, and we'll do some of those on our MTS, Empty Teens Make the Loudest Noise segment. But yeah. I think the best thing for you to do is actually watch and then go back to watch some more of what I've done for you to understand the full context. Because Bible talks, as I always say, is a journey. If you watch one, you may not fully understand the context of what I'm saying. So you need to start with spirit, son, and body. You need to go and watch father, spirit, father, son, and spirit. And then you watch prayer. Because for some of you that don't know that there's consciousness after death, you probably don't know anything about prayer. Yeah. Because all you do is talk and not listen. So um, if you're not subscribed, please hit that bell and please subscribe, hit that bell and share. <laughs> hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.